Sorry, there's no way to get up to the raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. Start it with your stun rod. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. Jeez. Track. I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. So, do you know what they do if the raptor escapes? Yeah, Muldoon says to get up somewhere high so it can't reach you and only use our weapons as the last resort. Oh, so there's a proper plan. Huh. I was just gonna push you over to distract it and then run. Hey! <laughs> Actually, I'll do that. Here.
Washington team move in there. Ladders jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't figure that panel out at all. No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. There's a raptor right under here! Yep, I am bang on target. I just gotta keep digging for a couple of more minutes. Just a little further. Oh, come on! It was there? I was so close! You lost your raptor? Yeah, it's good shade, too. I want partial credit for that thing. Basically mine. by the time I get this thing out. Yeah. A jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Ooh, uh, that might need some assembly.
The settler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. As I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just running a sandblaster. Six-inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Grant! Dr. Ellie! We're ready to try again! I hate computers. Feelings mutual. Careful, that rope's holding up uh, some, you know, uh, oh, don't, what's it called? Uh, delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. Preserve Compsognathus thigh. Really? Uh. Okay, I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. Yeah, that's much safer. It was really hard to just balance on it. That's great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. Shoot the...
thing looks like a six-foot turkey. You think you are? Ah. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, hmm, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? <laughs> well... Try to. <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician. Chaotician, actually. <laughs>